Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? January 18th through the 24th, what do we have for Libra? Empress, which is your energy. So this is all about love, abundance, wealth, opportunity. I feel like this is a very fertile time for you. You're going to be glowing, okay, male or female. You're going to be absolutely glowing. You're going to be in your energy. You can get that thing to focus. You know, if you are a masculine watching this, you may be dealing with a feminine that is very beautiful, knows her value. This woman is very, very valuable, very loving, very tender, does everything with love. If you are the female watching this, this is your energy. People are noticing you. They recognize you. They see your beauty. All right. You're, you're very beautiful. Everybody can see it. I feel like right now you're in the process of creating something new. Um... So this is a time of creation for you. Um, yeah, creating. I mean, this is creating a new life. It's a time of incubation. Something is is growing within you, right? Whether it's a, you know a child or it's something new. Something you're you're going through a period of growth right now, and it's absolutely beautiful, and everybody can see it. Put it that way. Again, if you are a masculine, you are probably dealing with a feminine that, uh, you know, can grow anything. This is somebody that can grow anything that is that has that that motherly touch, right? Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or another Libra. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. So there could be some hidden secrets here that can harm you. You are dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person. But I feel as though you don't really have nothing to worry about because you're in that empress energy. You know, everybody loves the empress. Everybody. And they want to help the empress because she's she's so beautiful. Everybody can see, you know, how much she loves. So I feel like... Uh, you know, you're in the process of creating a new life. There's probably somebody around you that is jealous. They're jealous of your abundance. So I think that you should probably beware of that. Somebody has a secret. They may try to uh, say something, you know, to take away your shine, to take away your glow. It's not going to work. It is not going to work at all. They can try all they want. What do we have for Libra? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles reverse. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but this is somebody that is very stubborn, unrealistic, unloyal, disloyal. I don't know if it's a father figure. I mean, you could be dealing with, you, you have a mother here as well. So you could be the mother. You could be dealing with the mother. You could be a mother of your children or you, you know, whatever. Um, this is a, the Empress is a very motherly energy. Um, does everything with love but you have this king of pentacles here in reverse this is somebody that is uh, financially unstable or they are too focused on their money could go either way this person is unrealistic they are stubborn they could be unfaithful um ungrounded i think that you are definitely dealing with somebody that isn't very practical maybe they don't want to accept responsibility or they're just lazy there could be some financial issues here. If you're worried about financial issues, I don't think you should worry because everybody sees your value. I think that you, if you, if you think you're lacking, there's nothing to worry about because you're in that energy of abundance, you know, abundance will come to you easily. Ace 
of Pentacles reversed. Now that's a loss. It is. It's some sort of loss of something. Uh, something could be costing you some money this week, or you may be losing something of value. You could be losing some money, losing something, a possession. You know, you could be spending out some money this week, or something could really cost you. You could be losing somebody that has been giving you money as well, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because you have... You have this energy about you where you will never be lacking. I don't see you ever being lacking. But anyway, this is a lost opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's uh, it's uh, unplanned, un unplanned loss or something like that. Something being taken away or somebody maybe uh, giving something away or dropping something. Um, unplanned so you there could be an unplanned expense this week i mean i just i gotta be honest with you there could be an unplanned expense may have something to do with this empress um whether it's you or another person we're dealing with a you could be dealing with a taurus or that could be you a libra um ace of pentacles reversed something is being taken away or it's going away hmm. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is the death of a person or idea as far as I'm concerned. We may have somebody here that is sick. They are ill. They're, they, they, maybe they need to go to a hospital or something. I'm um, just saying. I mean, this Four of Swords is exhausted. Very, very tired. Uh, also, in some sort of pain, you know, because I always see the Three of Swords, which is pain and suffering. Somebody is suffering. They're in pain. Um, having a hard time getting out of bed. I feel like, and there's been a lack of acceptance because the Ace of Swords is on the bottom. That's the truth. It's like, I don't I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to accept the truth. Somebody may not be accepting the truth. They uh, may need to heal over a situation and they're still healing. They haven't completely healed. Um, healing from an individual that may have taken advantage of them. Maybe they took advantage of them financially. Um four of swords this is a need to recuperate somebody needs to heal they do need to heal from a loss a big huge loss i mean that's a huge loss i don't know like i said you could be dealing with an aries could be a mother could be a father um knight of cups Let's get another one. Six of Wands. So with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands, we have we have a fighter here. We have a fighter. We have somebody that has fought a good fight that is probably going to be comforting you. This person is going to be comfort comforting you. They, ha they admire you. They may be expressing feelings to you. You could be falling in love with somebody. You... Um, there is an opportunity for love here. The Empress is all about love. But I feel like you, especially if you are the feminine or you're in your feminine energy, you ha may have turned your back on love. You may have turned your back on a love offer, but you may be seeing something differently now. Maybe you have finally ended something with somebody that wasn't unstable, that was disloyal, that was unfaithful, that was... Uh, wasn't giving you anything solid, you know, I do feel like there's, there's a huge loss here, but I also feel like there's a new beginning because this is victory after sorrow with the six of wands. So I feel like you are moving in a new direction or somebody is headed towards you. Somebody that is loving, that is looking for a relationship that, you know, this person is a warrior. They definitely are. They may have even been in the military. They may be a soldier. I don't know. Um, this is somebody that has a lot of life experience that has has fought a lot of battles of their own that has has done done fighting they're ready to settle down they're looking for a relationship and they're probably looking right at you and i feel like it's maybe it's time for you to uh, give them a chance something like that um i do believe that there is somebody that is searching for love and they're going to be chatting with you they're going to be acting on their feelings or they're going to be declaring their intentions or making a move towards you. This is somebody that is 
emotionally ready, okay? They're emotionally ready and they're looking for a queen, right? Especially if you're the female. If you are the male watching this, you do have a queen in your vicinity, okay? You do. If you are in a coupled relationship, um, if you are in a coupled relationship, I'm not sure if there's, you know, if there's some sort of loss here. There is because of that Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. It feels like there's some, maybe it's just financial loss. There's a loss. Maybe somebody is losing you. Maybe they wasted time. They, may, they could be losing you to, you know, a real romantic person who, you know, is going to fight for them and put in effort. Anyhow, um, there is an offer of love coming in for this Empress, whether it's you or somebody else. And it's not... It's not who you think it is, okay? It's not who you think it is. This is somebody that... I feel like this person is older. I feel like they're a little bit older. I feel like they um, are highly respected in their community. I feel like this person... Um, it's very, very romantic and they're going to be, you're going to be wooed. You're going to be woo wooed. If you are the female, if you are the, the male, the masculine, I think you're the one that is doing the advancing towards this empress. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because this empress knows her value. So it to oh, I was going to say Taurus, um, Libra, if you, uh, if you are this empress, which you probably are, especially if you were the feminine, you know, you have somebody that is going to be advancing towards you. This person is noble and they are respectable and they are being urged and they're being, you know, they really are being told, you know, that you're, that you are a, um, that you're the one or, and they could be, be told that from their intuition. I feel like they really think that you are the one, um, whoever this empress is, she has somebody coming towards her. Um, this person is, is ready to really put in effort and, and basically express their feelings. So I think you're going to be wooed, especially if you are the feminine watching this. You may not see it coming. You may be focusing on yourself. Maybe you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your job, you know. Maybe you're exhausted and you're fed up, you know, and you've been dealing with some pain maybe you've been dealing with stomach pain or something like that or cramping or something it feels like you maybe or you've been really tired and exhausted over something that you have lost I'm telling you right now there is something beautiful that is coming this is somebody that will protect you this is somebody that will protect you and you know I think that you should give them a chance if you are the masculine watching this it's up to you to do the advancing and I feel like uh, you have an opportunity with an empress that knows their value. But you are going, this the empress doesn't chase anybody. So if you are the man watching this and you think that, a, that you're going to get an empress that comes knocking on your door and begs you for attention, you aren't dealing with the empress. Okay, because the empress doesn't chase. She doesn't chase. She knows her value. So... Yeah, I mean, we have an empress here that's waiting. It's obviously the first card. She is waiting for, you know, her protector. She's waiting for the noble individual to show up, okay? She's not going to be begging you for attention. You know, that would be the queen of wands in reverse. Okay, that's somebody who begs you for attention. This is The empress doesn't do that. She has multiple options. She turns most of them down because they're not suitable. They're not practical. They're not qualified. And maybe that's what this is. So, you know, I feel like, you know, and I, th I feel like, you know, this empress has a suitor coming in that is very um, capable of taking care of her and uh, showing her and giving her the love that she needs. So, anyhow. Eight of Swords reverse. This is an obstacle being removed. An obstacle of fear or, or restriction or confinement. This is, you're free. You are free to fall in love. You are free. This is the obstacle being removed. Okay. What more can I say? I feel like there's there's a letting go of emptiness. You could be falling in love or something like that this week. Or there could be a bond that is deepening. I do see some progress is about to be made in regards to a relationship. 
with an empress who knows her value. So somebody's been lying to themselves. They've been lying to themselves, keeping themselves restricted. But now they're unrestricting themselves. So this is a, it's a time of, I feel like you're going to be uh, connecting with somebody that is very, very beautiful that you could fall in love with. Three of Swords reversed. That's leaving the past hurts behind. On the path to recovery. And this is this is needing to recover, needing to heal. This is on the path to recovery. Ready. Ready for that new life. Creating a new life. It's time. It's definitely time. So I feel like you've got an offer of love coming in here. And this could be a healing love. This is releasing pain from an individual that didn't value you. I think it's the that's the, that's what it is. It's the death of a idea that holding on to somebody that was unrealistic. And when you let go of that idea and you go down that path to recovery and break yourself free from that mental prison, that mental turmoil that kept you confined and you step out into the open it's like right there in front of you i'm serious it's like right there I, you know you have you're definitely getting together or you're going to be running into somebody or communicating with somebody that you know this person is noble this is a warrior i feel like this person um is definitely a little bit older um They may have just gotten out of a battle or they may be divorced, you know, they may be divorced or they may have, you know, they're, they're single. This person is single and they're looking for, you know, a queen. They're not looking for that uh, person that doesn't know their value. They're looking for a strong individual. Okay, they are. They're looking for, for, the, for the queen of all queens and I think you fit the bill. So anyhow, um, yeah, get get prepared for an offer to come in that this isn't from this isn't an offer from somebody from your past. I'm just letting you know it's not. There's nothing to do with the past here. Nothing. You have an offer coming in from somebody, especially if you are the feminine. If you are the masculine, you are the one that needs to find your strength and your perseverance. And your confidence to approach this empress. But when you approach this empress, do it with love. Do it with love because that's the only thing she will accept. She doesn't, she's, she's not going to accept anything less because she's already experienced pain. She has a lot of life experience behind her back and she knows her value and she's been used. This empress was used. She was. She was used for financial gain. And she was probably left high and dry, you know, because she didn't give out the money. You know, she, that, that's what I see. So anyway, I do feel like uh, you have somebody entering the scene this week, if you are the feminine watching this. If you are the masculine you're going to have to step outside of your fear and you're going to have to step into unknown territory and make an advance towards this empress that you are looking at. You're obviously looking at her. It's time to leave the past hurts behind and fall in love. Good luck. Looks like love to me. Good luck.